my ancestors has been in Govan since Govan was here. Since Govan started, they've been here. They contribute, they contribute and um, they have a lot to contribute. Um, it's, I don't know how, how much opportunity they get to contribute or how widely known their contribution is. You know, I understand there's a kind of, there's a difference in their culture. I think they're quite proud of some of those differences. Um, and, uh, and I suppose they've continued that through in their association with the Gov Affair, which we've been quite involved in through the last 10 years. I think they are quite unique and I think they're actually part of Govan's unique character as well. Um, and that they definitely do play a role. They're here and they have been here for many, many years. Um, yeah, I think they should, people should know about, more about them. Well, I'm 63 in my lifetime. I've been a member of the management committee of the Pierce Institute for over 20, 20 some years. And uh, the Govan Fair for, I don't know, more than that. And uh, we've done local fairs and fets. Everybody's proud of where they, well, most people are proud of where they came from, aren't they, and what they are. And we are very, very proud, like I said. And yes, we are a dying breed and we, we just want to be known for what we are, show people, not gypsies, not travellers, show people. Things that's happened in show business, I mean, your national lottery's from shows, your bingos, it's all from shows, from travelling show people, it's all from shows. I mean, it's, it's a, a society that's been in the forefront of this country, not just in Govan all over this country. I have done pretty much my own thing here and there, but I keep getting drawn back to it. I mean, I, I was raised to work in the family business, you know, I, I was raised to think of family first, and, you know, whatever else I do, it doesn't really matter whether I'm teaching in a university or, you know, going off to do something arty and pretentious somewhere, which I do quite a lot of. Um, it doesn't really matter, you know, there's still that pull back. My family are still five minutes down the road. Uh, you know, when I go home, you know, everything resets almost, you know. Um, there are no errors or graces and they're not allowed, put it that way. Yes, I've known uh, Jimmy Stringfellow off and on uh, for years. I used to run the theatre in the Pierce Institute uh, a good few years ago now. And I got to know him, first of all then, when I was, when I was running the theatre there, I did a project called SPAR which was a, a large multimedia uh, performance piece which we put on the um, Har and the Wolves uh, shed just down the road. Um, a big, big uh, production with huge uh, community cast, uh, multimedia, music, etc. He's a real kind of showman. And I mean, he even saw things in, in the setup. Well, we could add, uh, let's have a bit of bunting here and let's, let's add some things. So he really kind of dressed the set. And, but they could help us put on a good show. I've done stuff in film, you know, I've, I've, I've made some film segments, I've uh, put a film show on uh, based primarily upon, you know, early films that were first shown on fairgrounds. Um, and then dialectograms or draw, I suppose, drawing, if you like, uh, sort of came along as a sort of outgrowth of that. Um, drawings is something I've always done. Um, it's often been the only thing I've been ever you know, good at. So um, I thought it was quite an interesting way of looking at how we live and how things are organised. Myself, I'm retired now and uh, I, don't, I don't travel, but if I'm on the road with my car and I'm driving somewhere and a showman's load, as we call it, goes by us all painted up and all gleaming and, and you see it, it just, just, like I said, just makes the hairs on my neck stand up. There's nothing nicer to me than 
to see showman's equipment all painted up and the lights flashing. Knowing that you're part of it. And knowing that you're part of it and their vehicles on the road, they just so stand out with the stunning artwork and paintwork and to me that's absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. Great being proud of it, yeah. I would say this church is very important to them. Historically it was always their church. And, and, and even though they're the, the chaplain for them maybe comes from a different church. It's still very, very common to have um, their celebrations taking place here. I was married in that church 40 years ago to the day that they inaugurated us into the heritage of Govan, the Church of Scotland. God bless them. I could go on for another 100 years and tell you about the show people. They are the, a cream of a community. They are a cream of a community. And they do things without people seeing it and without knowing. And I enjoy helping people. I get a lot of joy out of it. My father taught me and my mother taught me. So if you want a really good life, join the show people. <laughs> Keep us alive. <laughs>